Hey guys, it's your English teacher, Mrs. Klein. Haven't made one of these videos for a minute, but I'm making one to talk about our essay. Um, I'm really excited. Now, a lot of you might be saying, why do we have to write? Why are you making us write an essay? This essay should be pretty easy for you to write because we've been talking about it the whole book. Plus, I'm assigning it way before the end of the book, so you have time to work on it. Plus, it's preparing you for the milestone. So actually think of this essay as a gift because it's a chance to get a good grade on something you'll do well on. And it's preparation for the milestone. So it's just like all good things. This essay is all good things. I've got the right stuff. I've got the right stuff. I've got the right stuff. One thing to consider when you are picking your topic for your essay is which character did you do on the collage? If you already have a bunch of quotes and knowledge on your character, you may want to stick with them. But let's say maybe you have Papa and you're like, hmm, he hasn't changed a lot, or maybe you're not too pleased with Mama. You can pick any character. But you might want to think about, start your paper thinking about in terms of the collage. Um, for example, I chose Cambie Lee as a miniature poodle who looks scared. But now she's kind of standing up and becoming bigger than Mama. So maybe if I were to do this now in the middle book, I would swap those sim symbols. And Cambili would be the standard poodle and Mama would be the miniature poodle. So you can think about that. That could even be a line to use in your essay. Um, at the beginning of the book, character was symbolized by a puppy. But now at this point in the book, they're a full-grown dog. You know, so that... Your collage definitely ties into this essay, so think about how you can use it. I've got the right stuff. I've got the right stuff. I've got the right stuff. The right stuff. The right stuff. We have the right stuff. stuff. Yeah. I've got the right stuff. I got the right stuff. Correction. He doesn't have the right stuff. <laughs> Nori. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a puppy. Nori, can you say right stuff? <laughs> Pickle, can you say right stuff? Is the puppy asleep? First you got to think, 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 think. Then you got to write, 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 write. Then you got to edit, 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 edit. Your essay, your essay. <laughs> okay, so what is this essay about? You're going to choose a character from the Achiki family and explain how they change or remain the same throughout the course of the novel by examining their public and private personas, so essentially how they act in public and how they act in private, how they interact with other characters, and how that demonstrates one of the themes or lessons of the novel. So this essay is an informative essay, which means that your purpose as a writer is to inform your reader about how a character changes and your audience, who is honestly Miss Klein or Dr. Morgan, or someone else who's read the book, one of your peers. All right, so your introduction, there are three steps. They're pretty straightforward. 
Now, your thesis statement is might be a, one of the more difficult pieces of writing the essay. So I've given you some templates, but essentially you're going to be saying in the novel, your character changes from one thing to another thing, revealing a theme. Now, the theme part might be hard, but we will be working on that in class probably next week. Okay, so hold on to that. But before you do the introduction, you can go ahead and write some of the body paragraphs. You might think that's weird. What? I need to write the introduction first. But actually, that's not necessarily true. So let's make it easier and start with a body paragraph. All right, so your first body paragraph is essentially a summary of chapter one. Discuss how the family falls apart in chapter one and make connections to earlier events that led to this catastrophe. Now you might be thinking, wait, how can there be an event earlier than chapter one? Well, remember, chapter one actually happened before anything we else we've read, okay? So you're gonna use the teach um, structure, topic sentence, evidence, analysis, and clinching, and you actually wrote a paragraph just like this from a quiz weeks and weeks ago, and I pretty, I'm pretty sure I kept it for you. I meant to. So hopefully, you know, you might just be able to type that up with very few alterations. Okay, so Pickle and I are going to go back over some of the elements of the essay. So if you get confused and you're at home and you want to remember what the essay is about, you can watch this part. Okay, if you don't need to, then you